Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my nursing channel. This video is going to be about how to assess the carotid pulse or the carotid pulses. However, we do not assess the carotid pulses simultaneously. My name is Nurse Master Charlie, and on my channel, I talk about all things nursing. So if you want to know more about nursing related topics, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and then also hit the notification bell so you can be made aware of when I make new videos. So let's get right to the video. So what is a pulse? By definition, a pulse is the regular expansion or dilation of an artery caused by the ejection of blood into the arterial system by the contractions of the heart and your pulse is the rate at which your heart beats. Now to assess a pulse, you will need your fingertips to feel or palpate the pulse. You will need a watch to time the pulse. So you're gonna be counting the beats per minute in a pulse rate. So when you assess a patient, you wanna assess whatever system you're assessing systematically. So for pulses, we're gonna assess from head to toe or head to foot. When we assess a pulse, we wanna assess bilaterally for symmetry. The only ones we will not assess bilaterally or at the same time will be our carotid pulses because we don't want to stimulate vagal nerve stimulation and the apical pulse because there's only one site we're going to listen to. Okay, when we assess a pulse, we want to assess for a couple of things. We want to assess for the rhythm and the rate. Well, pulses can be described as regular, irregular, regularly irregular, or irregularly irregular. And normally you want to count for one minute. You can count for 30 seconds, but it's best to count for one minute, especially if you're barely learning about your patient. And once you are familiar with your patient and you know that they have a regular heartbeat, then it's easier to assess for 30 seconds. And for our apical pulses, we will listen for one minute. It's kind of like this. If you didn't know a patient and you're looking at half an EKG strip, that rhythm might be regular for those first 30 seconds but for the whole minute, you might miss something. So like I said, once you know your patient, listening for 30 seconds is fine. If they are on cardiac medications, you might wanna consider listening for a minute. Now you wanna assess the strength of a pulse. Now pulses can be described as zero, indicating no palpable pulse, one plus indicating a faint pulse, two plus suggesting a slightly more diminished pulse than normal, three plus, it's a normal pulse, and four plus indicating a bounding pulse. So before you see your patient, make sure that you perform hand hygiene. And since you are going to be touching your patient in different areas, you want to let them know what you're going to be doing and then ask them if that's okay. Our carotid artery lies right between our sternocleidomastoid muscle, which is when you go like this, you can feel that. But this is the muscle here and our trachea. So we would take two or three fingers, put it right about here, and you can feel your carotid. And for our carotid artery, we do not want to palpate both of them at the same time. You can stimulate the vagus nerve, which can cause a lower blood pressure, and it can decrease oxygen and blood flow to the brain. Don't forget to watch my other videos that show other pulse points. So I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and then click on the notification bell so you can be made aware when I release new videos. So, and until the next video, God bless, thank you, and goodbye.